Alrighty guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get the brand new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on your Mac. Alright guys, a quick little disclaimer before we get into the video that the only way to actually play and download Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is to have boot camp. I want to let you guys know that first of all, you can't actually run, run it natively on your Mac OS software, so you're going to have to have boot camp. Um, but apart from that, you can still play it on your Mac. All right, so the first thing, like I said, is you want to have boot camp. Now, the way I've done my boot camp setup, I've actually, instead of partitioning my drive, I've actually got an SSD and I've actually put Windows shown to my SSD and everything that is Windows, so my C drive, which contains all my files and everything to boot up to Windows is on this. So it's perfect if I want to play uh, anything on Windows, I plug this in. If I don't want to play, I just take it out and I go back on to Mac OS. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start up my Mac. Um, I'm going to start up my MacBook Pro and then we're going to show you the process of starting up and playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. All right guys, so first of all, what you want to do is shut down your computer. All right guys, because we are booting from my SSD, my external SSD should I say, I'm holding down the option key so when it does start up, it does give you the option to either start from your um, Mac hard drive or from another portable SSD, in this case the one I'm using for the Windows. Um, drive so as you guys can see there I've got my air fire boot normally this should say my Macintosh HD um, For some reason it's not but anyway, we're looking for the EFI boot which with the uh, external hard drive logo So we're gonna click on that um, And that should load us in to Windows 10 so we'll wait a second here and we should get the Windows logo as we can see there We do have the Windows logo popped up um, on the computer all right, as you guys can see there, we've loaded perfectly into Windows 10. And you guys will see here, I do have the Flight Simulator shortcut on the left and Steam. And also, I do have the Xbox um, app over here. Now, a quick thing with the Xbox app, I actually tried to use the Game Pass to get Microsoft Flight Simulator because it was a dollar to try that for 30 days. So I thought that was probably the best option to do. Um, but for some reason, every time I'll try to download it, it would be crashing it wouldn't even get 900 megs into the download without it starting with errors and all this kind of stuff i tried to fix it for a couple of hours actually and nothing went to plan so instead i went onto the steam store and i've just purchased a microsoft flight simulator for 99 dollars which is what it starts in in australia um so like i said you do have access to the game pass or the xbox as well game pass but it's not something i recommend or the microsoft store because none of the games that i was trying were loading properly so Anyway, end up going to Steam, and if you click on the shortcut Flight Simulator here, it will give you a little indicator there that it's starting to start up. Um, and if you give it a second, it should boot up perfectly fine. All right, as you guys can see there, Microsoft Flight Simulator is starting up, running it on my MacBook Pro. Now, I've got a 2018 spec'd out uh, MacBook Pro from Apple, so it wasn't custom, it was just a spec'd out version from Apple, which is, I think, 16 gig of RAM. I think it was the 580... X, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, Radeon 580, I'm pretty sure X. Uh, like I said, 16 gig of, 16 gig of RAM. Um, now, again, when you're running a boot camp, the the graphical power and the GPU isn't as much as it would be through um, your stock Mac OS. But again, I am run, running medium settings and it is working fine for me. So like I said, I'm going to launch into that. And we'll get to the main menu just to show you guys that everything's all working well. Alrighty guys, we've got Microsoft Flight Simulator loaded up. As you guys can see as well, I have my joystick here and also my mouse connected, my external mouse. Um, the only thing I obviously don't have connected is my keyboard, but you can do that as well. I've got another few slots available. So we're going to go head on to World Map and I'm just going to load in just to show you guys that everything does work fine. As you guys can see, everything has loaded up now. Um, due to my MacBook not being the fastest in the world, um, it hasn't got the best graphics for me personally, but if you do have a newer Mac, um, it might handle the game a lot better than mine can. But as you guys can see, it is playable. You can do everything that you want to do. Um, I'm going to head back and just show you guys, even like take off. Everything does work perfectly fine. Got my mouse, like I said, joystick, everything works perfectly fine. All right, as you guys can see, guys, takeoff works, everything works fine, and we are playing Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Mac. All right, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Now, just before I end the video, 
Um, I just wanted to clarify and let you guys know that I'm running um, my spec, my graphics about a medium, like I said, because after that, my Mac can't really handle that and it starts glitching and slowing down and all that kind of stuff. Um, but if you do have a more powerful Mac, like I was mentioning before, you probably get better results than what I'm getting now. I just wanted to make this video to let you know that it is actually possible to run Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on your Mac through bootcamp. So smash thumbs up button, share the video around if anyone that you know is interested in running Flight Simulator on their Mac, it is possible. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video.